While the Moomins had been playmaking, their theatre had drifted into a wood. But they were all too busy to notice. Even Moomin Mama had got used to life afloat. Little Mai was the first to realise that something was different when a big and dangerous ant walked into the footlights. Take care, such ants live only in forests, shouted Moomin Papa. I will take charge of mooring the theatre personally. I know there is plenty of rope backstage, as they say in the theatre. It's just a question of organisation. This must mean the water's going down. Watch this. Don't you damage the prompter's box, Emma the stage rat shouted at him. You might need it one day. Moomintroll was quite overcome by the thought of seeing green leaves again. I'm going to sleep in the trees tonight, he said. I too, said the snork maiden at once. And me, shouted little Mai. We're sleeping at home, said the mimble. There might be ants in the trees, and if they bite you, you'll swell up like a balloon. But I want to get big. I want to grow up. I want to grow up. I want to grow up. I want to grow up, cried little Mai. Moomin Troll began to whistle happily to himself. Stop whistling! Stop it, I say! Stop it right away, demanded Emma. Why, asked Moomin Troll. It's disaster to whistle on the stage, Emma replied in a lowered voice. But Moomin Troll had found a way up into the tree and he was happy. In the rowan tree branches, he felt light as a feather wafted on the fragrance of flowers. The snork maiden easily climbed the rope ladder he'd made. And Moomin Mama had thought of everything they would need. Pillows, blankets, and a small breakfast basket for when they woke up. Haul away, my dears. How nice for them to sleep in a tree, said Misabel. Why don't you, if you think you'd like it, Moomin Mama asked. Nobody asked me to, Misabel said sullenly. Dear me, take your pillow and climb up to the others, Misabel dear. No, I don't want to anymore, said Misabel. And she went to hide in a corner and enjoy being miserable all by herself. Shh. Then, when everyone was asleep, Emma appeared. Shh. She liked roaming the theatre at night. Mustering all her aged strength, mm -hmm. she managed to undo Moomin Papa's moorings. This is a theatre, not a ship, she muttered angrily. Spoiling the prompter's box like that? I won't have it. Freed from its moorings, the house started off, leaving the tree in which Moomintroll and the Snork Maiden were sleeping far behind. Oh.